No one's got a huge advantage. Everyone runs deep into the corner. Today we are doing race number three. We have a whole new crew of people out here today. Um, but before we get into this, I wanted to let you guys know that next time we are doing a sign up for an Elgato race, it is actually going to be on our Discord. So if you want an invite to the next race, make sure you join the Discord. There is a link down below. You guys can join that way and then you will see the, the channel open up and then you can sign up that way. That's how we're gonna do it for race number four. Anyways, in case you didn't know, we are playing for some incredible prizes. We already have two guys who have advanced to the finals, uh, playing for some incredible Elgato prizes, all of the things I use to make my videos every single day. My cam link from my face cam, my Elgato HD60 Pro from my gameplay, my Elgato green screen as well. Seriously, if you like con creating content or want to create content, check out Elgato stuff. They make what I do possible, and without them, this would not be a thing, so thank you to them so, so, so much. Also, the top three winners out of this race today are getting some AR-12 socks, because who doesn't love to keep their feet nice and toasty? I guess I should probably explain the challenge for today. What we are doing today is we are doing what is the world's fastest sleeper car. If you don't know what a sleeper car is, essentially it's, uh, it's, it would be like, imagine this, but being as fast as this. That's basically what a sleeper car is. It looks very slow, but in reality is very, very fast. So go build your favorite car, your favorite sleeper car, come back outside. I am going to say, let's say S2925. Also, if you do not take a sleeper car, you will be automatically disqualified. Twitch chat, do you have any suggestions for what car I should be using as my ultimate sleeper car. Now, I want probably something that's D or C class stock, and then I want to get it all the way up to S2. We are going to do so, so much upgrading to this thing. I'd actually also like to use a car that I haven't used before. That could be quite cool. So Mitsubishi Galant. I, no, I, I don't even own one, and this game's been out for almost two years now. And it is C class, and it is all-wheel drive, and it doesn't look very fast. Providing we can toss the right engine into this thing, I think this is going to be one hell of a sleeper car. Like, no one is looking at that and being like, yeah, that car's super fast. It has a thousand horsepower. We also need, like, a really crappy paint job. Oh, oh, that's pretty cool. I like this, though. It's very subtle. It's just gray with a tiny bit of rust where, like, the rocks would get shot up on... And the rear bumper is a little bit of a different color. I like it. I don't know who made this paint, but you did a good job. DJ says, check out the body mods. AMG. What? It looks like a UFO. Why would you put a splitter all the way up there? How have I never seen this? I guess I'll keep the stock one for now because rally car says DJ. I guess so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the wing off. No wing. No wang gang. Side skirts. Oh, what? Oh, that's so sick. This is legit rally car. We've got like rolled up uh, mud flaps and even mud flaps under the car. Race tire compound. I could get away with race tire compound, I feel like. I want to make the tires a bit thicker. I mean, if you were to look under the car and you would see like very sticky tires and they would be very, very wide, I guess that would be your other indication, but I'm not going to change the rims. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to give it better suspension, but then I'm going to raise it back up. I guess it's going to have red brakes too, which kind of gives it away. This is a good car stock. 3,000 pounds stock with all wheel drive for a car this big. That's really good. All right. Now we can get our thousand horsepower boys. I don't think we're going to run into class problems. I think I'm going to be able to upgrade this thing all the way to the max. Ooh, it's going to be close. Actually, once we get those turbos on, it might jump. Oh man. We can only go to S2925. Oh, the turbos don't make it go above. No way. No way. We can get away with max upgrading this thing. That is so sick. Oh, boys, we are good. We are so good. So we weigh 2,500 pounds. We've got 1,000 horsepower, all-wheel drive, race tires. This thing's going to be very, very quick. I'm so pumped. Okay. So for it to look more sleeper-like, so I did lower the car down with the race suspension, but I am going to raise it back up just so that way 
it looks as stock as possible. Just so less people would be able to look at it and be like, oh, that's a thingy. Oh, that's a race car. You know? All right, so what have you guys brought out? What does this say? Go away, Nathan. You're going down ace. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, uh, where are they? There's two very good racers in here named Nathan and Ace of Kings who are probably the two favorites for today. And, and he decided to, uh, to let them know that, uh, they're welcome. <laughs> Anyways, let's, uh, let's take a look at your sleeper cars. I like the variety once again. Some of you guys are bringing out, like, rusted out paint jobs, stuff with, like, rock chips all over it. The last race was this one in the jungle, and that was a very, very good race, and I did quite well there. For this next race, I, or in, in, in race number two, I was talking about doing a race in the city, and I think I do want to do one in here. Do we go with my least favorite circuit ever? And do this, and not that one, this one. No, you know what? Let's do this one, boys. Skyline View Circuit. Wait, check car rating. Everyone, everyone respected the, uh, the car rating. There's <laughs> even one guy in an S1 car. Uh, yeah, everyone's below S2925. So good. Good job, boys. No one cheated. All right, so six laps. Uh, it's early afternoon, clear weather. The time's not going to change, and collisions are turned off. Six lap race, it gives everyone time to, one, overtake as many people as possible if you are starting from the back, as well as crash into a bunch more walls than you otherwise might. This is going to be a very interesting one. Imagine I can win two in a row. How dope would that be? On these particular tracks, my problem with these tracks is you really have to watch out for the curbs and stuff because you will get picked up and thrown out so, so quickly, and that's always what uh, my problem is. Anyways... Good luck, boys. I've got my try-hard assists on. I am running manual with clutch. ABS turned off. Someone has already crashed into a tree. Watch out for these fences, though, boys. This is the problem with these street circuits. You've got, you've got curbs. You've got lamp posts. You've got fences and garages. That could have gone very badly for me. This is a close race, though. Everyone's pretty similar. No one's got a huge advantage. Everyone runs deep into the corner. Another good reason to have the collisions turned off is everyone crashes, and I move up to fifth place with that one. I cannot open this car up. Like, it's quick, but I can't use its full potential. Oh, and the understeer is real. It does not want to turn. Oh, man. So Ace of Kings is currently leading. I would imagine Nathan is pushing very, very, very hard behind. I pull the noob move and run into the wall super hard. One guy spun. I'm up to fourth. Come on. I want to get on the podium, boys. I want a pair of AR-12 socks. Oh, man. Oh, that's Nathan in fourth place. So Nathan is going to have to push super, super hard if he's going to want to get kings. Come on. Oh, he's angry. You can see him. He's already up to third. He's past the bright blue Audi. Audi's running really wide there. I'm going to have way more speed. Come on, is he gonna screw up this corner again? Everyone's gonna be learning about this corner. There we go, much better, much better. Oh, I'm closing right in on the Audi now. Oh, this track is so annoying for these cars. Wait, did someone else crash? I'm up to fourth. Someone must have crashed. Nathan is up to first. Nathan must have pushed super, super hard. I don't know how he passed Ace, but he passed Ace. He now has a second gap on Ace as well. No way. Lap number four, come on. No! 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 What are you doing? Back up! No! I was in fourth place! You silly controller! No! Oh, two laps left to go. I'm not going to be able to make that up. Are you kidding me? Disaster strikes in the Elgato race number three. No, it's not a curvy wall. Okay, yes, I'm aware my controller batteries are low, Xbox. Thanks for telling me that before. Well, Nathan's currently got the lead. Whoa, Ace of Kings drops down 16 seconds, drops down to third place. Rocky is in second place by eight seconds. I have no idea how Nathan is pulling away that much. That's crazy. On to the final lap we go. 
I am bearing down on fifth place. Sixth place goes past. I'm pushing. Oh, man. You couldn't have told me my batteries were dead before the race? Come on. Oh. Oh. Just to make insult to injury. Well, that didn't go super well. Anyways, the race is over. Tenth place. Tenth place. Are you serious? So Nathan takes it in the Commodore. He had a four, a three second lap faster than everyone else. That is unreal. So Nathan's coming first. He is moving on to race number seven. And then second and third are picking up some AR-12 socks as well. Man. I felt like I could have come in the top three. Battery died. Can't drop down to seventh. Battery died again. Missed a checkpoint, finished 10th place. Like, yeah, just my luck. So where's Nathan? Here's Nathan. No one's looking at that, though, and being like, that's quick. Like, look at this stupid wing. It looks racy as hell. What a sneaky car. Sneaky, sneaky car. I like the guys in the Cyclones, too. The Cyclones look very, very good. I would just like to say, I had a fantastic car. I just had some problems. <laughs>